You want to take it to heart that you're not a crazy. And when somebody calls you a crazy, when somebody thinks you're touched, you don't need to get upset. You know, I know that happens, and I know how you can feel inside, and how you can be, you know, ready to explode. Please, you don't need to explode. The problem is that the people don't understand as much as you do. They haven't thought it out, or they've been taught wrong. They've been taught all the same things we both got taught. Absolutely. We, we, you know, this is not, it's not, and, and the thing is, and some people don't, you, you should try to explain, you should try to educate them, explain the position, understand it yourself, give them material that will help them to understand if they'll eat it. If they won't eat it, don't try to force feed them. It never works. You can't force, you can't feed somebody something that they're not interested in. And you know what? People aren't. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes somebody, somebody, they're sold on an NIV. They're not a prospect for you. They're not, you know, don't, whatever they say, you don't have to get angry at them. Just say, well, that's, that's fine. You, you, don't, they, you know why? Because David mentioned to me the other day um, that we're holding all the cards. Absolutely. We already have the answers. We have the truth right here. Whenever they're ready to ask the questions, they can ask them. But look, God spent 10 years with me, and I was earnestly seeking. I sought hard and daily and got piles of books and did piles of research. Most people aren't even going to do that. No. And I spent the time that I did and put my heart into it, and God was patient with me over those 10 years, and so are some of my other friends, some of them who are here at Chick now. Um, they were patient with me. Can't we be patient with them, other people in right. the same way? God can lead them, but all we can do is show them that and be confident. And you know what? When you're confident, you don't have to pound the pulpit. They used to say that old thing in seminary, when in doubt, pound the pulpit. Is that right? Yes. No. It was a joke, but it's well, still, I know. Well, yeah, well, it was a about the way preachers are. Some preachers actually preach about questionable things, and they're really unsure, and they pound the pulpit. That's where the saying came from. And so, yeah, when in doubt, pound the pulpit. And some people... It makes it look as if we don't believe this. Ah. But the confidence is because we do. It is true. I got my whole life changed because of it. And the Lord has so blessed my entire family. My family's growing up in faith, not doubting. There's a lot of things to doubt in this world. This is not one of them. You should always know that you have the very words of God. I want to know how I should behave. Proverbs, read it. 31 chapters, 31 days in the, the longer months. You can read a book of cha uh, Proverbs, reading a chapter a day. Wow, it will change your life. Your ethics and your thoughts will change when you have God's words.